Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five of Yuletide. Page five of Yuletide, and we're going to start with two flaps that are four and five eighths, four and five eighths um, by eight inches tall. You're going to need two of those, and so we're going to have um, this gatefold here, gatefold flaps. So one's on the left and one's on the right. I should dry fit this first. But I think I did a good job trimming it. Yes. Okay, and again we're on page five. That's twice I've done that where I let go and it shifted on me. I thought it was stuck down and it was stuck to me instead. Okay, so there's our pockets left and right, and our panels are going in left and right. As you can see, I found my pick tool. It was hiding in plain sight. When I put it in my container upside down, I can't see it because I'm looking for the hook. Yeah, not too bright, I know. Okay. These are going to slightly overlap because the panel that we're putting them on is eight inches across, and um, these are just um, an eighth of an inch larger. And this looks like it needs to be adjusted ever so slightly. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add these two panels, and this is what the cover is gonna look like. Okay, and then we're gonna decorate it further just want to make sure I've got them both going the right way. Yeah, okay. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. It looks good. Okay, now we're ready to lay in the centerpiece, and this is also from the 8x8 collection pack. It's not pretty. It's really hard to cover that up, but I've already used the pattern somewhere else. too high up, I'm going to adjust it. Better. Much better. Okay. So now... I'm going to come back and do the uh, B-sides, but what I want to focus on doing now is what we're going to put on top. And I'm going to use this ephemera card front and back. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to go ahead and mat it on um, some cream cardstock.
Okay, and then I'm going to mat it once more on the brown cardstock. So the cream cardstock is six by eight. And I basically took the white trim off these um, decorative cards. So again, the cream cardstock is six by eight and the brown cardstock is six and one eight by four and one eight. So we just have this nice tight border around them. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with this side, the B side. Okay, so now we have both of these framed out nice and neat. We're gonna flip them over and then we're gonna add cream cardstock to the back. But before that we do that, we are going to figure out our magnet placement, which is gonna go behind these two pieces of cream cardstock. Okay, so the plan is to stagger these two images. This will be glued to the left panel, this will be glued to the right panel. like so. So I'm just going to fuss around with it until I get the right the right look. I want this to show on top. So I think that's about right. So I'm going to place a magnet here. Oh, you know what? That may not work because I've already put I should have probably figured out where my magnets were going before before I um, added this piece because the magnet actually needs to go underneath it not back here but on top so I'm gonna actively work around this and try to figure out what to do while I'm um, shif shifting shuffling things about trying to figure it out To do. I think I could put it right here behind this. I don't like that idea. I have one other idea. So the other idea would be to glue this down on this side and this down on this side and then when we go to close it you interweave the two cards and the cards themselves hold it closed. That's what I'm gonna to try to do. So you guys bear with me, I'm gonna to try to figure that out. So that means I could go ahead and add my cream cardstock on the back side. And that's just so that when you open it, it looks unified with everything else, not this big piece of brown cardstock standing out all by itself, okay? So that's looking like where I want it. So I'm going to measure it, see how far in I'm coming. So that's an inch, and that's an inch. I think I'm going to go half inch, half inch. Yeah. Okay. 
So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in a half inch, half inch. I might have to add some more glue, but I'm gonna try it like this first. Okay, so this is gonna go a half inch from the bottom and from the side. I'm gonna measure it. Okay, and that looks like it's too tight, so I'm probably gonna to have to shift it over. Uh, quite a bit, actually. There, that's a half inch. Okay, that's roughly it. Okay, so that's that. Now we should be able to still get behind it, yeah, because I've only glued like a quarter of it down on this side. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to take about a quarter and glue that down. I could probably glue more, but since I'm sort of testing the concept, I'm not going to go crazy here. Um, I'm kind of eyeballing it. It's a little crooked. Shh, try to shift it. There we go. Okay, now because these two flaps slightly overlap, um, it, it overlaps about a quarter of an inch. So if, and so it only work if there's an overlap. So if I tuck this card behind this card and this goes in front of that, so we're gonna kind of weave it. I'm gonna show it to you from the top down in just a second. As soon as I get it started. So this goes back, this goes front, and then that's going to hold it closed. Okay, so we didn't need a magnet. There's always a workaround. Okay, that's uh, most of page five. So the next thing we need to do is cover our B-sides inside. So I am going to put a little bit more glue down here to make this a little bit more sturdy. All you need to do is make sure that that it can go behind this one. So actually you want to make sure you're doing this. So don't glue it past this line. Actually that feels pretty good. This one needs a little more. Okay, I'm going to test it again real quick. Make sure that I haven't overdone it. There we go. It's a little fussy, but it works. Part of the reason I think it's a little bit fussy is because this is so thick. Um, so there's layer and layer. All right, so now we need to do the B-side. So I'm gonna pick some patterns, I'll be right back. Okay, I chose this pattern. It's from the 8x8 collection pack, and I think it goes with this very well. But I just want to show you it's the cut aparts on the other side, which I think I'm going to use some cut aparts, but I think I'm going to pull them from the 12x12 collection page. Trying to see if it matters, if it has to go, yeah it does, it has to go under, there we go. Alright, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is page five.
that pretty? I'm loving this collection. Okay, I'll be back soon with page six. <laughs>